music festival mayhem in New York City over the holiday weekend. Concert goers seen storming the entrances to the Electric Zoo Electronic Music Festival on Sunday after an announcement that the venue had reached capacity earlier than anticipated and no other ticket holders would be admitted. Oversold. We don't understand how you can oversell uh, tickets. The three-day event had issues from day one. Friday's show was abruptly canceled just hours before the start. One hour before, I was actually just getting ready for to come and I got the news. Festival organizers issuing a statement on social media citing global supply chain disruptions as the reason behind the delay in completing construction of the main stage. You probably knew about this way in advance, like probably either yesterday or the day before and you wait three hours before the event's supposed to start. Seems a little bit ridiculous. Saturday, the doors opening two hours later than originally scheduled. And on Sunday, festival organizers shutting down access around 6.30 that evening. There were people that I met that were that flew in from Dallas, Texas. Some people actually came in from Canada. I knew some people came in from Europe. The NYPD arriving to survey the scene, using a drone to ensure the crowds inside the gates were safe. We had some concern because when uh, uh, additional people rushed into the concert, we wanted to make sure that uh, people weren't uh, overcrowded or on top of each other. We wanted to make sure that the bodygoers weren't overwhelmed. By the end of the night, those who did manage to enjoy the show spent the rest of the evening just trying to leave, posting videos to social media of a slow-moving, jam-packed crowd trying to get off Randall's Island, where the event was held. Poor management, like they, this could be avoided. They've done this for so many years. The festival announcing refunds would be issued for affected guests, but some say they won't be repeat customers in the future. We're not coming back if they do have it. Like, we're not going to do this festival again. Like, it's not worth it. Valerie Castro joins us now in studio. So Valerie, who is eligible for refunds here? And what have the organizers said? So organizers have been posting a lot of information on social media. They said anyone who had tickets for that Friday night show that was completely canceled, they are eligible for a refund. Anyone who showed up on Sunday and were turned away once they shut down the entrance for that day, they are also eligible for a refund. But Ellison, there are other, pe other people who said they waited for hours at will call just trying to get their tickets. One woman said she waited for five hours, couldn't leave to get water or go to a bathroom. She also wants a refund. So we reached out to the organizers today to see if they had any other information, but they have not gone back to us. Valerie Castro, thank you.